Hello. In this video today, we will show you how to modify any stone coming from a matrix file. So this file is a file that I import from matrix. As you can see, if I just click on the stone, anything happens. And this is because matrix well is not recognizing uh, this as a stone, because as I said, it's coming from matrix. So if we want to convert this stone, what we need to do is just go to the legacy import and from the moment that we click on the legacy import, Matrix Gold already detects that there is this gem here. All right, so I will convert it. Now, this stone is a stone that Matrix Gold is recognizing. Now, if I want to make any edit to this stone, the only thing that I need to do is just go to gems and use the gem override. From the moment that I get the gem override, as you can see, I get this tool that will allow me to make any modification to, to this gem. I only need to go to edit and now I can change the width, the, I can unlock and make any change that I want. Um, what else? I can change even the shape. So if I want to go to the princess, so I have all the control to do anything that I want once I have the gem using the gem override. Let me just undo until I get to where I was before. So again, this is a gem that is coming from Matrix. What happens if I uh, start to do copies from this gem? One, two, and three. So I can do the same. Again, I go to Matrix, uh, main menu. I go to legacy import. We have found gems. We convert them. And again, we still do, don't get anything. So, but at, at least Matrix Gold is already recognizing these stones. Now, if I select all of them and I go to the gem overwrite, again, I will get the gems. And uh, these gems are inside here. So I can go to edit. And as you can see, I have this white dot that will allow me to select any of those and make any modifications. So actually I can select this one and I can rotate it. I can get this one and I can move it and make it smaller. And I have all the details here. All right, or again, I can go back to edit and on this one, I will select it and I will use a different cut, a caution. All right, so this is something that is uh, very, very convenient because now I can get any of those and use the matrix gold tool. So for instance, I can use a bezel and apply a bezel on this stone. So I will go to a 50% and I will probably drop this a bit. All right, so it's just a little trick to uh, keep using the stones that you used to have in matrix or even if you have a stones that has lost all the history, you can do the gem overwrite. So you have, again, the option to use them with all the tools that are related to stones. So I hope that this was a good trick for you. Thanks for watching.